way to downtown Odessa, and many people came out to see murals in the area. CBS 7's Noe Ortega was at the event and spoke to artists and the executive director of the event. Noe? Over 30 artists locally and around the world came out to the Permian Basin to give more color to the city. Part of the concept right here, it was to beautify the city by unveiling four new murals that celebrate Odessa's designation as a music friendly community and bringing the community downtown to celebrate our achievement as music friendly and also celebrate cultural arts in Odessa. Recently, Governor Greg Abbott designated Odessa as a music friendly city, which led to Odessa Arts to host its first ever mural fest in Odessa. Local organizations donated their time and services for this event. Though some of the artists weren't from here, they still had a good experience in the Permian Basin. There are places where you stop and kind of have some experiences. So the beauty of doing that in a small place or being, or in, in being one of the, the first to do it in a place is that you get to see people's attitude toward art change you get, and you get to see their own excitement for their place that they live. We want people to celebrate our artists. We want people to know what kind of arts and culture we have here in the Permian Basin. And mostly, we just want them to have a good time. These murals were all music inspired and some of them even had local musicians as inspiration. I partnered with West Texas Jazz Society to say what does jazz look like in this community and everybody said Eric Baker. So we have a picture of him up on the wall and then a bunch of jazz inspired colors and whimsy to bring people joy. Music was heard all throughout downtown with jazz music being played next to Witzkin's mural. The event was also free to the public and with the success of today's event, Pam believes it will continue to well, even though this event has already ended, the murals painted will stay on there for a long time and eventually bring more colors to Odessa. For CBS 7 First Alert News, I'm Nora Tega.